Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dave here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the equivalent Exchange 3 for Minecraft 1.5.2, if that is correct. So the first thing I need you guys to do is click the first link in the description, and you will be brought to the Minecraft Forge website. Now, check your Minecraft version here, which is obviously 1.5.2. You want the latest version and we're going to click the universal link so click that it'll take you to an adfly website takes a couple of seconds but one it, uh, once it's done you just click skip add and it will download minecraft forge sometime soon come on into webs work for me please there we go so that's downloading and I can close that whilst that downloads then click the second link in the description and you will be brought to the Minecraft forums for the equivalent exchange 3 so this is what it will look like now you guys can just scroll all the way down uh, past installation donations we have download right so we have requirements, forge, don't need to click that because that's the first link. Then you have universal download, works for both client and server. Click the link underneath that. Again, you will be brought to an AdFly website, which will take a couple of seconds and then you can download it. Click skip add. Yes, and you do want to keep it. So that is downloaded. I have put all my files on the desktop just for convenience. Okay, so now that we got them here, just click start, type in percent app data percent, then you'll have roaming, click that, double click dot minecraft here, double click your bin, now we'll just put this in the uh, corner here, and right, minecraft.jar, please right click this for me, go open with WinRAR. And we don't want to buy WinRAR. First things first, guys, before you get started, inside your Minecraft.jar, there is a folder called MetaInf here. If you could please delete this for me, and it will, if you do not delete it, it will stop you from installing the mod correctly. So now that we've deleted this, what you need to do now is right click your Minecraft Forge. Oh, something's gone wrong there. Yeah, right click it, go open with. WinRAR. Again, it will ask you if you want to buy WinRAR, but we won't. Okay, so we got the Minecraft Forge here, got the Minecraft.jar there. Simple as holding Control A, and you will select all the content inside the Minecraft Forge. Then all you do is drag and drop it into your Minecraft.jar, and then click OK. So we've now merged the Minecraft Forge into the Minecraft.jar. Bear in mind there is a, a meta inf inside the Minecraft Forge, but that is fine. You can transfer it over for some reason. Don't know, maybe it's the contents, but that is fine. You can put that into your Minecraft.jar. So now we close them both down. Keep your Minecraft bin open, just minimize it, but open up Minecraft for now because we need to run forge and it will do all this setting up, compiling, whatever so we have three mods loaded, that that looks right yeah that's good, close that down load up your minecraft bin and we're just going to go back a file so we go to your minecraft no your dot minecraft sorry and if you forgot how to do that, just click start, go percent, percent app data, percent, and then go dot minecraft sort of thing. Um, right, so this would have made a folder whilst, when you've run the, um, the forge, it will make a folder called mods. If you just double click mods, um, now you can just simply move your equivalent exchange into this folder and that is it really you just close that down open up minecraft click 
click login. And it will do whatever it needs to do. Okay, so we go single player. Oh, I've already created a world. <laughs> I'll delete you. I'll do it again. Why not? Now we wait. And we're in. Boom. Okay, press E. Try it in creative, see if you've got the equivalent exchange items it says. Now we've got this tab, we just click to the side and we have the equivalent exchange three item tab thingy majigger. So here are some equivalent exchange items. Woo. Um, uh, what does Philosopher's Stone do? Does it do anything? Oh yeah it does. Right, so yeah. Equivalent exchange three items. Um, if you're new to this, um, you're probably going to be expect, but you're familiar with equivalent exchange two. Sorry, if you're familiar with that, then uh, you may be s disappointed because uh, there are not there are some items from the equivalent exchange two that are not in this mod yet, or may not even be released in the future. And because this is a fresh start, um, yeah, you're going to be waiting pretty much. So that is pretty much it, guys. Um, if you found the video useful and helpful and, you know, yeah, well, basically, you know, just leave a comment or something. Because people are very quick to say when something isn't working. But, yeah, what's going on there? Well, anyway, um... Yeah, people are very quick to say when things aren't working. So, I can't blame them or anything. But, it'd be nice to know if it is working for you guys. Um, if you liked it even more and found it even more helpful, you can rate for me. Or even subscribe. Um, I'm now on Twitter also, so I'll be doing video announcements on there. I've put a link in the description, so all you have to do is just click the link and you'll come across my Twitter page. Follow, retweet, or whatever you want to do. That would be really, really helpful, and I would be grateful also. Until next time for the next Minecraft update, ladies and gentlemen, I shall see you then. Toodle-doo!